Hi guys, Teja share with another video on fun math. Today we are going to discuss about common tangents to two circles. There will be two circles with different conditions and then we will discuss the common tangents. Okay, first let's start. What what is mean by common tangents? Okay, first let there be two circles x minus h1 square plus y minus k1 square is equal to a1 square and x minus h2 square plus y minus k2 square is equal to a2 square. Let this be equation number 1 and 2. And let these be two circles with centers c1 h1 comma k1 and c2 h2 comma k2. Let their radii be. There is no need to imagine. According to this equation, it is in the form of x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to a square. Where a is the radius, right? So here the radii of these two circles are a1 and a2 respectively. And there are so many possibilities or so many cases arise from these two circles. The first case is c1, c2 is greater than a1 plus a2. Means the distance between two centers is greater than sum of their radii. The distance between two centers is greater than sum of their radii. It means that the distance between centers is greater than sum of the radii. In this case, the two circles will not intersect, right? The distance between two centers is greater than sum of their radii. It means that the distance between those two circles will be more than some of their radii or more than their radii means those two circles will not touch each other and they will have four common tangents you can draw four common tangents to these two circles in in which two are the direct common tangents and other two are the transverse common tangents okay what are these means that if you see in this picture there are two types of tangents the one tangent goes from means goes on the same side with respect to the line through their centers or if we see in this both touches the the tangent touches the both circles at only one side right the tangent the tangents through t2 or transverse common tangent or direct common tangents this touches the both circles at the same side and if i see the tangents through the point t1 these touches the circles at opposite sides means it touches the first circle at the upper side and the same line touches the second circle at lower side if they touch opposite sides they are called transverse common tangents if they touch the same sides they are called direct common tangents same sides or if they touch the two two circles externally or if they touch the two circles internally they are called as transverse common tangents now let's see the second case case number two this case is that c1 c2 or the distance between the two centers is equal to sum of the radii the distance between them is equal to sum of the radii. Means it means that both of those circles touch at a single point. Okay, then in this case, if we compare this with our before case, the small difference is that these two circles touch each other. If these two circles touch each other, then the transverse common tangents or the tangent which cut these two or the tangents to these two circles internally are just one, right? So it means that you will have one transverse common tangent and the direct common tangent will be the same. You will have two direct common tangents. And the two transverse common tangents are coincident. The third case is that C1, C2 or the distance between the two centers is less than the sum of the radii. The distance between two tangents is less than the sum of the radii. Means th those two circles touch at any place. 
the two circles intersect at two points the two circles intersect at two points in this case there will be two direct common tangents or real and the transverse common tangents are imaginary you should not tell that they will not have transverse common tangents you should tell that they are imaginary okay in the next case the c1 c2 or the distance between the centers is equal to the difference between in their radii the distance between the two two centers is equal to the difference in their radii what does it mean and how does the circles look the difference in their radii is equal to the distance between their centers it means that if we observe this case this is the case in which the distance between the centers is equal to change in a radii as you can see the circle lies the smaller circle lies inside the larger circle and it touches the larger circle at one point okay in this case if you observe carefully the two common direct common direct tangents are coincident and the two transverse common tangents are imaginary means in this case you will just have one common tangent okay there is just one case remaining that is the smaller circle is inside the larger circle let's see it in this case we will see that distance between the center of two circles is less than the difference in their radii is less than the difference in their radii means the change in their radii is greater than the distance between the centers or one circle lies inside the other circle in this the two direct common tangents are imaginary and the two transverse common tangents are also imaginary means the all four common tangents are imaginary so if a circle lies inside of an other circle then all the tangents are imaginary means there will be no real tangents and all are imaginary tangents imaginary common tangents okay guys this is for today's tutorial hope you enjoyed this video if you not comment down below why you haven't if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video